In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this part and this drawing. It's part 8 of section 72. It includes an auxiliary view and a detailed view. I'm going to start off by creating a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to draw a line from the origin straight up a distance of 2 tab. And you're going to want to make sure that it's straight up 90 degrees, tab, enter. I'm going to draw a line a half inch, 90 degrees to the right, 0.5. draw a line from the origin, 2 inches, to tab, straight up, and then straight up half an inch, 0.5, tab, enter. I'm going to draw a line from there to the end of this line here. I'm going to finish the sketch. Extrude out, make that two inches. I'm going to create a sketch on this surface. I'm going to turn on construction and I'm going to project that face. Go to my line tool, I'm going to draw a line from the center of this face. You see the green dot on the edge across to the green dot here. And same with second line from the center, the green dot, straight down. I'm going to turn off construction. I'm going to draw a circle right at the center. Make it a distance of oh, one inch diameter. I'm going to draw a centered rectangle. And I'm going to draw it here. I'm going to make it uh, point, point 0.125, tab, point 0.125. Uh, hit escape to exit that command. I'm going to come in here and using my splice tool, I'm going to cut, delete those two segments, delete that segment, and that segment. Uh, hit escape twice, and then I'm going to highlight this line and delete the line too. And I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to cut, and I'm going to go on all, through all. I created a new drawing. Place my base view. I'm going to make it uh, two to one. Place it about uh, out there, and I'm going to place a isometric view up here in the corner. Right mouse button create. I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to make it shaded. I'm going to create an auxiliary view. I'm going to pick this this view here, the front view, and click on Auxiliary View. And that will let me choose this surface. And then I'm going to project out the Auxiliary View right about there. I'm going to go to Annotate and select my center line tool. Put my center line there. I'm also going to use this center line tool here and uh, put the center line here, point to the green dot here and the green dot here. And hit escape twice and grab the line and extend it out a bit. Let me add some dimensions uh, starting here. Uh, dimension uh, there. The overall height. Overall width. Here, this dimension there, the 
depth of the part, uh, the location of this hole. Escape twice, uh, grab this dimension, and uh, pull it out a bit because I'm going to add one more dimension from uh, this edge to uh, locate this hole here. Go back to dimension and I'm going to identify the diameter of that hole. You notice that it's specifying a radius. I want to change that to change the dimension type to a diameter. Hit escape twice to finish the dimension. Now I'm going to draw a detail. I'd like to di dimension this key slot, but it's too small to dimension in this view, so I'm going to create a detail view. Go back to place views. Select detail view. And you need to tell it what view you're going to use. I'm going to point to this view here. I'll change the scale to 5 to 1. And I'm going to point to the center of this key slot and then draw my circle right about there. And then it lets me, it creates the detail for me and it lets me place it wherever I want. I'm gonna place it right there. Hit escape and uh, let me center that a little bit better. I'm gonna go to annotate and I'm gonna dimension the detail. So select dimension. I'm gonna add a dimension here. I'm gonna select here here and I'm going to dimension here to here hit escape I'm going to grab this and move it up a little bit closer to the view the, the name of the view I'm going to save my drawing export it to PDF and submit it to LMS to complete the assignment.